Good evening, I'm Carrie Rollins in for David Story, and this is your Look News 411. Topping our news tonight, a Hudson Falls man being treated for burns and facing criminal charges after police think he set fire to his house, then barricaded himself inside it, needlessly threatening lives of firefighters and injuring a police officer. It all happened in the early morning hours at this house at the corner of North and Labarge streets. You can see the fire damage on the outside. Police say Robert Fenton was fighting with his live-in girlfriend when their stove was disconnected and started leaking natural gas. Neighbors say police first warned them about the fire around 1 a.m. By 3 a.m. they were being evacuated and a SWAT team storming Fenton's house, afraid the gas stove would blow up. 3 a.m. is when the police with the SWAT team came to my house with very large loaded guns and told me to get my children and uh, evacuate my home because the house was going to blow. And when I walked outside, all I could smell was just gas everywhere. I actually took my kids and we did um, leave, you know, since they were very frightened and seeing all this that was going on. When police showed up, Fenton was standing in the fire and then running out the back door. Neighbors are grateful for the police and firefighters who risked their own lives to save Fenton and keep the house from blowing. Glad that everyone is safe and the police and the ambulances, everyone did a really good job on getting the situation under control. One police officer suffered smoke inhalation. Fenton was taken to Westchester Medical Center where he was treated for burns on his arms and torso. They aren't believed to be life-threatening. He faces criminal charges. Months earlier, Fenton had reportedly been disputing with police for minor tickets relating to bicycle violations. The teenager who helped rescue the man from Lake Luzerne being called a hero tonight. 17-year-old Charles Allen says he and his sister were driving when he looked into the lake and first saw taillights, then noticed an entire truck was underwater. You can see the tracks going off the road through the sand and into the water here on Lake Luzerne Beach off Route 9N. Allen says he and 25-year-old Ryan Swigert dove in to save the man trapped inside, 70-year-old Neil Johns. I see the truck, it was starting to sink a little further and further, and um, I told Ryan, I said, I think we really need to go in there and get him out. And he said, yeah, so I stripped down and I went in the river as soon as an EMS guy got there. Allen's parents are proud of their son's quick and brave actions. Pretty proud of him. He's a pretty young, pretty brave boy. He, he would help anybody in need. Today, the driver had become confused because of a medical condition. Johns was taken to the hospital but was not seriously hurt. No charges will be filed in this accident. Court tomorrow accused of first harassing a Verizon worker and then threatening police with a knife. Police say 57-year-old Mark Holstrunk harassed a Verizon employee who was working on a telephone pole at the intersection of 146 and Waite Road in Clifton Park. When police showed up to arrest him, he put up a fight, threatening them with a knife. Police say he was also carrying a loaded handgun. Holstrunk was taken to jail and is expected back in court tomorrow. That's the latest from the Look Newsroom. We do it daily here at LookTVOnline.com, and we're on air weeknights at 6 and 10 p.m. on Time Warner Cable Channels 8 and 68. Thanks for watching.